Now that Thanksgiving 2021 is under our belts and on our hips, time to think about our pets and the next round of celebrations. We'd like to welcome back Dr. Karen London, Certified Applied Animal Behaviorist. It's good to have you back. Thank you, it's nice to be back. And happy holidays. Thank you, and to you as well. Thank you. It's a time of entertaining guests, and you say that at pet socialization, you take a two-pronged approach. Tell us a bit more about this. Well, in terms of how it relates to the holidays, I feel like the, the two-pronged approach I take is prepare your dogs for what they're going to have to uh, handle or manage, and if you can't pre prepare them for it, then avoid it. So if you don't want to put them in a situation that they haven't been prepped for, just like we wouldn't like it either. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, we've got Christmas, we have Hanukkah, we have all these wonderful celebrations. Is there anything that's specific to those holidays that pet owners need to be a little bit more cognizant to keep their pets safe? Uh, absolutely. I think, um, well, for uh, Hanukkah, for example, the two major issues with keeping pets safe is keeping the animals and including dogs away from open flames from the candles. Obviously that can be really dangerous, so make sure that they are you know, on a countertop or a table where the pets can't reach them or they're constantly supervised. And then the chocolate gelt coins that um, we give in our families for Hanukkah celebrations, chocolate is really toxic to dogs, so you wanna make sure they're not getting those. Those are the two main ones for Hanukkah. For Christmas, which often involves visiting families with coinciding vacations that we get, uh, one of the main things is keeping your dog safe at a guest's house or when guests come over. And when guests come over, you just want to maintain your dog's routine as much as possible. And then there are a whole lot of things that need to be done if you're going to visit someone's house with your dog. And I can say from personal experience, when you're talking about a Christmas tree and you've got delicate ornaments that are somewhere along the bottom of the tree and those tails go wagging and they start playing and things get knocked off and broken, you just want to make sure that maybe you put some of the plastic ones at the bottom so that we're not stepping on glass. I think it's so true for safety and also for, you know, like ornaments that have been in the family for a long time and mean something. Nobody wants their dog to be the one that causes that kind of social distress. And then plus obviously the danger from glass. So yes, very safe ornaments on the bottom. Or I mean, I've seen a lot of trees, uh, Christmas trees where the bottom half isn't decorated with, if, with pets and it may not be the most aesthetically pleasing, but you know, safety first and it's good for the dogs and cats too. And if you start to see your dog feeling a little under the weather and you're suspecting that they have some kind of gastrointestinal problem, what is the first thing that you should do to try to mitigate the situation and nip it in the bud before it gets worse? Well, uh, my training is in behavior, not in anything uh, medical. So, I mean, the first thing I would do if somebody contacted me about it or if it were my dog, I would call a veterinarian immediately to find out, is this just a case of the, you know, kind of an upset belly from too much or is it something serious? And they'd be able to tell you what things to look for or whether or not they thought that you should bring your dog in. Exactly. You know, put the emergency, because these things always happen when the vets are, are home and the office is closed. So a good plan is to have have an emergency veterinarian on speed dial at the ready just in case. And I do appreciate your advice as far as socializing your pets. If, if it's a time when you are allowed to bring your pet to someone else's home, make sure that they are socialized right, that they're good around other pets just in case everyone got the same kind of invitation. And then what should you do? Make sure that you do common courtesy after you've come home. Well, yes, and hopefully you've prepared your your dog to go to someone's house they have been welcome you've trained them to handle basic greetings to you know to come when called to be able to stay by themselves but if you've taken a pet to someone's house definitely mention in a thank you note always a thank you note it's a good thing that you uh, appreciated them coming and that they had a nice time and then you know consider sending a gift along either as a thank you or if necessary an apology if something unexpected and unwelcome did happen with your dog absolutely dog training emily post they go very well together dr london thank you All so much and happy hanukkah thank you very much happy holidays to you thank you we're back after this